Dungeness crab fishing is the, the deadliest season in the industry. Capsizing off the Oregon coast, a crabbing boat now sits washed up on shore. The bodies of the three men on board have been recovered. Tonight, a town remembers those lives lost at sea. It is 11 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. That tragedy taking place just a little more than 24 hours ago. The Mary B2 and its crew making their way back to Yaquina Bay after a crabbing expedition when it went down in heavy seas trying to cross the bar there. Cole Miller reports from Newport tonight. The men and women who crab out of Yaquina Bay here know that this job isn't just tough. At times, it can be deadly, and unfortunately, that's exactly what we saw last night. But tonight, while those three fishermen may be gone, they are certainly not forgotten. And the Lord hears, and he delivers them out of all of their troubles. Tonight, heartbreak in Newport. The flicker of candles, family and friends coming together. To remember great men. Great men who lost their lives doing what they love. 50-year-old Joshua Porter, an experienced commercial fisherman from nearby Toledo, skipper Stephen Bernacki and crew member James Lacey, both of New Jersey. This is their boat today, the Mary B-2 washed up along the beach while returning home from a crabbing trip last night. They did not survive the seas. The three men had requested a U.S. Coast Guard escort across the Aquina Bay Bar. Uh, as they approached the entrance, they were directly in front of the jetty, and they did not have uh, any time to turn around and go back to sea, and they took about a 20-foot uh, breaker over the bow. We'd lost total visibility of the vessel. Two men were thrown overboard, a third found in the boat's cabin, a dangerous and at times deadly line of work. Their names will be added to the Fisherman's Memorial at Yaquina Bay State Park. There is at least one GoFundMe now set up to help the family of one of those fishermen. Another group is also collecting donations. We have all of that information on our website at coin.com. In Newport, Cole Miller, Coin 6 News.